Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, February 27, 2015. This week, working with blendable layers in Photoshop and Elements, Part 3. Katie Pertit's blendable layers come as a set of PNG images that you can layer and customize. Since you can use each of the layers separately on a different project, or mix and match them to create something completely unique, blendable layers are a great way to stretch your scrapbooking budget. This is the third in a series of videos in which I'll be demonstrating various ways to use the blendable layers. Using these techniques and adding in your own creative twist, you'll be able to use the blendable layers to create customized digital photo art. In the previous tip, I showed you basic techniques for changing the visibility and position of the layers. In this segment, I'll show you techniques for dramatically altering the appearance of the layers. Begin by following the stacking process in the first tip of the series. An easy way to change the appearance of the blendable layer is to add a background layer from another digital kit. Open a piece of digital paper by clicking File, Open in the menu bar, and then browsing your computer for the unzipped folder containing the background that you want to use. Select the paper and click Open. Get the Move tool and then drag the paper onto your blendable layer document. Drag the paper down to the bottom of the layers panel and then hide the base layer by clicking the layer visibility icon. Or you can just drag the new base on top of the existing background paper. For the sample, I used Katie Pertit's Botanical Collection Paper Pack number 10. But you can also use Katie Pertit's Blendable Layers Base Paper Pack. This paper pack is a good choice because these papers are specifically designed for use as backgrounds. Another way to make a dramatic change in the appearance of a layer is to recolor it. Select a layer that you'd like to recolor. With the layer selected, choose Edit, Fill, or Edit Fill Layer from the menu bar. This opens up the Fill dialog box. Tick the Preserve Transparency box and then choose Color from the Color Contents box. This opens up your color picker and it also changes your cursor into an eyedropper. So then you can go over to your document and choose a new color. I'm going to pick up kind of a brown color and then click OK and OK again. Now the pink has changed from pink to brown in the layer that I changed. Covering a layer with a different piece of paper or a photo is an easy way to get a new look. Even if the layer has an image, the image can be covered up using the layer as a clipping mask. Open a piece of digital paper or a photo large enough to cover up the layer. Use the Move tool to drag the new piece of paper onto your document. Drag the layer up or down until it's one position above the layer that you want to cover. Press alt Control g or on a Mac System Option Command g in Photoshop. In Elements, just press Control g or on a Mac System Command g The paper will take on the shape of the layer under it. So in the Layers panel, you'll see that the paper or the photo layer will have moved over and a bent arrow appears. This is how you know that the technique was successful. So on this document, I've covered up the black and white foliage layer with the damask print. Combining two or more blendable layers into one document opens up a whole new realm of design possibilities. You can open up a PNG image from another blendable layer by going to File, Open, and then choosing another blendable layer. Select the image and click Open. And then drag the PNG image from the Layers panel onto your document. Or you can open up a new blank document and start from scratch. Open up the layers you want to use and drag them onto your new document to create your own combination. These four easy techniques can help you make a blendable layer your own. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip where we'll explore a few more techniques for personalizing the appearance of the layers 
in the blendable layers. 